in the circle, well, Di Morrissey is referred to as the Queen of Australian writing with 20 books to her name in 20 years. She plans to knock out another 20 and we're thrilled to welcome her for the very first time to the circle couch. Please welcome Di Morrissey. Yay! Welcome Di, your latest book is called The Opal Desert. 20 books in 20 years, does it get easier or harder? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Each one is as difficult as the first one, unfortunately. I mean, you learn a few tricks and, and how to make life easier for yourself, but no, it doesn't actually. I read no. that you have a fear of missing a deadline. And that you can't imagine being oh, one of those look. authors. It's like, oh, I'm at the deadline yeah. and I haven't I, written. I think it was the way I was brought up. I'm one of those people when they say, be there at 10 o'clock, I'm like there. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that kind of stuff. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a commitment because it's not just me. I mean, I know there's a whole publishing company and a routine and mm. other things that, that go into Yeah, there's a big machine, this machine behind, behind producing the, the, the book. Yeah, You're a so, good girl. You're yeah, a good girl, Diane Morrissey. <laughs> I was always the good girl. And then you start to think, I think the blood Folks are actually doing better than me. <laughs> I think I had to cause a bit of trouble. It's always so, the way. <laughs> and with your storylines, where do they come from? 20 in 20 years is, that's really prolific. Do, yeah. do they just come to you? Uh, well, each book's inspired by a particular place, mm. so it's how I uh, choose that place, or actually it chooses me. Mm -hmm. And then I go there and I live there for a month or so to do the research. Wow, so. that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So the current one that Georgie's got, the Opal Desert, is set yeah. in Lightning Ridge. Well, it's set in a mythical uh, a place like Lightning Ridge. I spend a lot of time living in Lightning Ridge and White Cliffs and, you know, Cooper and mm. but essentially the book is that um, Lightning Ridge, White Cliffs, Yawa mm -hmm. kind of area. So I camped out there for Do people know that when you go to a place like that that you're actually writing about those people there? Do they Sometimes. put on a bit better behaviour? Sometimes. <laughs> I try to go undercover yeah. <laughs> so that you see the real people and the real place. And I mean the Opal that's Field, the that's the one of the Opal Fields out there that's just this extraordinary remote, isolated, but yet it's incredibly beautiful. Mm. And of course sleeping under the ground are all these amazing opals. The people in those communities are incredibly resilient. They have to be. It's a very special community and uh, to to go and live out there and it's really hard yakka mm. to mm. dig up because you can't use big machinery. You've still got to do a lot by hand. And particularly I found that the life for women was really kind of interesting. So I also wanted to write about, you know, women's friendship and mm. when women are left on their own or in a difficult circumstances, they really need the emotional support of other women mm. and so I thought to put sort of three women in that bizarre landscape would be kind of interesting. You've said it's really difficult to choose a favourite book of your 20. Yeah. Is there, is there a favourite location? In the, in the last oh, I have to, I have to say that um, oh, oh, we just went into the dimness. Hello. Um, oh, hello. There's I a ghost in the machine. We'll just keep talking, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> um, I, I still think that Broome and the Kimberley is, is really one of my most favourite places. Oh, okay. And I'm really very concerned about uh, environment. That's always... Oh, we're back we again. Here we are. Oh, yeah. I, I, I love that and I also love the processes that people, writers, go through to immerse themselves in a local environment. Do you have... Do you have sort of a checklist of things like a travel writer would go to the local pub and meet some no I just let lob into the place and just kind of wander around and meet people and yarn mm -hmm. and then they say oh have you been up there have you seen that and I kind of follow my nose and my instinct and it's the same with writing the book that I don't like plan it all out and I don't know where it's going and I actually don't know how it's going to end and I just uh, go back home after spending a month in the place and you know you smell it and you see it the yeah. colors and you the really light. yeah mm -hmm. so you can describe Describe it better if you've been there. Is that uh, the journalist in you? Yes, I think so. Yes. Uh, and one of the people that told you a few yarns when you were growing up was Chips Rafferty. Is that right? When you were growing yes, up? Yes, Chips. I grew up at Pitwater, and uh, Chips was um, like my grandfather, godfather, and he was. And he told me that whatever I decided to do in life, make sure it's Australian. So, which is I why see. I chose to write Australian books. And also, the mentor. Uh, when I was seven, I met the great poetess Dorothea McKellar, who wrote My Country, I Love a Sunburnt mm -hmm. Country. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and at seven, I told her I made up stories. And she said, well, one day you should put them in a book for other people to enjoy. So I went, oh, OK, that's what I'll do. I'll write <laughs> wow. Talk wow. till I was nearly 40, but never give up on your dream. 
dreams because you yeah. can get there. Yeah. So you've just returned from Burma. Is that a hint, Di, about the next novel? Could be, yes. I had the most extraordinary time. Month in uh, Myanmar, as it's now known, mm. I still think of it as Burma too, uh, was, was absolutely extraordinary because the country's going through an enormous change and put it on your bucket list of places to go to wow. soon. Yes, yeah. really? I've heard yeah. that, yes. Mm. Well, we look forward to book number 21. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Would you please thank Di Morrissey? Thank and thanks to Di and your very generous publishers. Everyone in our audience this morning will get to take home a copy of a great new book, The Oprah Desert. We will be back after we check our electricity supply with more of a circle after this from Nikki.